Yellowstone, Jackson Hole, and Salt Lake City summer 2022 vacation. Let's go. For my subscribers, this video is a little different because I wanted to document our vacation. If this is your first time here, I'm Trish Rodriguez. We are headed to the Atlanta airport. Uh, we have already been on the road for about an hour and we still have about another hour to go. Mark and I have not flown for about 14 years, so this is going to be an experience for us and our kids have never flown before so it's definitely going to be an experience for them. We're flying in to Salt Lake City. We're going to check out Yellowstone and we're going to go over to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Uh, we're going to do some little ATV tours around Yellowstone and we're going to do a uh, kind of a lazy river boat tour um, near the Grand Tetons. So we are really excited about this trip and can't wait to get it started. Sarah, it's your first time getting on a plane. Take it. First time on a plane. <laughs> So let's recap where we have been today. We have traveled for a total of 10 hours. Uh, we traveled two hours to get to the airport. I see you, Jacob. <laughs> we traveled two hours to get to the airport this morning, and then we took a four hour flight. Um, and then we have uh, been traveling for another four hours to get from Salt Lake City to Island Park, Idaho, so that we can start our Yellowstone adventure tomorrow. So we're very tired. Uh, it's been a long day of travel. Yeah, but we're excited to be here. Um, I'm going to be honest, Idaho is uh, not very interesting. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. It is a bunch of flat land, um, at least the parts that we saw. Uh, we did try to go and see Idaho Falls to get a little something different that might be a little interesting. Um, and I couldn't even find it. Um, it was a little, little river. That was, that was about it. Um, but we were able to get out and stretch our legs for a few minutes. And then we went and had some ice cream. So that was nice. We did see the um, windmill turbines. Um, so that was kind of cool. Okay, so we are getting ready to get into Yellowstone. We're coming in through the West Yellowstone entrance and it is 8.06 in the morning. And uh, as you can see, the line is not bad. It's really not bad at all. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get, get in and see a lot of the stuff that we want to see today. There was a lot of traffic coming through the through the park and we thought oh well you know it was a lot of traffic for just getting to the different destinations no of course it was because of wildlife and then we saw what it was there was a bison over on uh, coming out of the water and a bunch of people had stopped to take video of it and i was able to get some pictures yay that's so awesome
Oh my gosh. What? Look at that. Sucked, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, at least we saw something cool, man. I thought you said it sucked. How can it be cool and suck at the same time? I don't know. So, what are we doing right now? We're eating schmoes. Some schmoes. Some schmoes. Okay. A weak fire back there. With oh, it is pretty monster. weak. It is going out, isn't it? All right, and this is our lovely accommodations for the week. And there's a uh, old man, dad, and Mark. Say hello. 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 <laughs> what is that? Hello. National Geographic. Hello. And Nana and Sarah watching the TV. faster but not by much because you're uh, going over rocks and Sarah is driving the other ATV with my parents behind us which you can't see because it's super gusty Okay, we made it. We made it through the trail. That was, oh my goodness, that was very sketchy. Um, very sketchy, lots of spots that were very, very narrow with the trees closing in. Um, apparently horse flies are really bad up here too, so not sure how long we'll stay, but this is the amazing view that we get to see. And I don't know if you can see, but I have Face is extremely dirty. Friday is when we did a UTV tour. So it's um, a four-seater and a six-seater side-by-side uh, off-roading vehicle. Um, and that was quite an adventure. We went through some mud puddles. Um, we went through a mud pit. Um, and there was a couple of them that we didn't, like the water, the puddle, we didn't know how deep the water was gonna be. That was extremely scary because you know we're renting these UTVs and you don't know how deep that water is going to be you don't know if you're going to get stuck you don't know if you're going to damage the vehicle uh, the same thing with the mud pit um, we just had to go for it and it's it scared us to death but we did it and we survived and we didn't damage the vehicle so it was all good uh, we let uh, both of our kids drive the UTVs for a little bit um, our 13 year old son got a real big kick out of that and Yesterday, we did more of Yellowstone. Here we 
we have a gorgeous, gorgeously wrapped. Okay. This is beautiful. What is that? Huckleberry milk chocolate. Ooh, I hope it's bar. worth it because this was expensive. How much was it? It's ten dollars. Are you serious? Ten dollars. Ten dollars? Ten dollars for this little candy bar. That better be good. Oh, well, not really. Wow. She thick. She pretty. Oh wow. Yeah, that is thick. She's real pretty and thick. Oh wow. Here. Okay. Here's a better view of how thick she is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to crack it in my hand. Oh, I can smell it. I can smell the yeah. huckleberry. Here you go. Alrighty, here we go, everybody. Well, then our kids fight. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. I taste it's a hint. I don't know that it's ten dollars worth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's good. Okay, okay. What we rate it? Um, I mean, as far as chocolate goes, I think it's pretty good. So I'd probably rate it like an eight or a nine at least. Mm -hmm. I would rate it a seven. You would rate it a seven. It's good chocolate, but there's no chocolate it's a, it's a very, very subtle hint. Yeah, I was expecting the middle because I, it was... Truffle? Yeah. I thought it was going to be cream in the middle or yeah. something, you know. Uh, huckleberry cream I or know. something. It's chocolate. Yeah. We were able to see an elk uh, laying down in, um, in under a tree uh, getting some shade. And then we saw some other elk uh, that were out in kind of just an open area um, near Mammoth Hot Springs. Um, they were just kind of eating the grass and, and then we did see a bison crossing the road near Tower Falls um, where there was a parking lot and a general store and a place for uh, to sit down and picnic. So while we were sitting down to picnic, the bison crossed the road and actually came into the parking lot. He was stuck between the guardrail and the cars that were parked up against the guardrail. That was a little crazy. Um, my husband, you know, went out there to kind of look at it and see where he was at. And he was saying he wasn't sure if the, he said the bison looked like he was trying to decide whether he was gonna jump the guardrail or continue walking through the parking lot. And he ended up jumping the guardrail. Nobody was hurt, no cars were hurt, and you know, nothing happened. Um, but anyways, it was super, it, that was super cool to see. We saw a Grand Prismatic Spring that was, um, I mean, that was cool to see, but it, I guess from the pictures, I expected to be able to see a better view of it um, with the different colors that are around the spring and the steam that was coming off of it. And because you were level, the footbridge is here and the, you know, I mean, it's, it's level with the spring. So, the pictures that you see must be aerial pictures or drone pictures um, because you can't see all of that when you get, you can't see all of that when you are actually on the footbridge. Um, so anyways, but it was still cool to see. And then we just rode around. I mean, we saw most of Yellowstone just by car. Um, we tried to go over to another area where we would potentially see animals. Um, more buffalo and maybe some elk or moose or something, but um, the road was closed so we couldn't get over there. So anyways, that is pretty much it in a nutshell. And now we are on the road to, um, we're actually gonna be staying in an RV park in Alpine, Wyoming, um, which is gonna be about an hour outside of uh, Jackson Hole and Grand Teton.
wow, look at that. Okay, out here doing this Taggart Lake Trailhead. Said it was easy, very easy. I don't know about very easy. Um, my parents are with us and it's a little bit of a struggle for them in some places. But other than that, it's not, it's not bad. So 300 elevation gain on the trail. Having to watch where I put my feet. Anyways, we have already crossed a footbridge and like a little cascading waterfall area. And we're headed to the lake now. Yeah, good's not a word on this trail. <laughs> Surviving. That would be the case, yes. Making it, slowly. Or it being mostly flat. <laughs> okay, obviously the sun is beating down on me and it's very hot right now. We've actually entered more of the flat trail part. We have an absolutely gorgeous view. It's yeah. just, it's indescribable. Look at this. Are you in your happy place like I am? <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. You need to go stand on that rock, Mom. How you feel? We're here. Tired? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look okay, at how clear that water is. No, I'm not getting in. What? So we just saw, what was it, Taggart Lake, Taggart Lake, you can see the Grand Tetons behind me, oh my gosh y'all, that was amazing, it was so gorgeous. The kids got in the water, it was very cold. <laughs> and um there was a great little rock that we could take photos on so of course we got our little photos done and we got some selfies and stuff like that so it was a great time saturday night um or saturday evening after the hike we went to we went into jackson hole and had dinner um at a place called sidewinders and i uh, didn't know it when we chose it but it was actually featured on diners drive-ins and dives so that was kind of cool and Sarah actually had the chicken pot pie um, which was one of the items that was featured on the show. So Monday we did, uh, we went from Alpine into um, Jackson Hole again for a um, Snake River boat tour. It was actually a lazy boat tour. Um, so it was 13 miles of just very easy calm waters on a raft um we hit one little spot or maybe like two little spots that are considered the, the rapids of the lazy river um and jacob got splashed pretty good doing that one um jacob also got to drive the raft boat so that was kind of cool he enjoyed that um we didn't see much wildlife we got to see a uh, bald eagle um, several bald eagles actually um, and several of their nests uh, we saw um, ducks geese uh, what else did we see marmots um, Monday morning we got up at 4 a.m. to drive into uh, Grand Teton National Park so that we could be there uh, for the sunrise and we did the sunrise on Mormon Road so we were able to get some great photographs of the iconic Mormon Row barn 
house, whatever, whatever it is considered, um, with the, uh, with the Tetons in the background. And that was, that was very pretty. Today we got up and let's see, today is Tuesday. Um, today we got up and we left Alpine, Wyoming, and we are headed to Salt Lake City. We're going to spend the afternoon just kind of chilling and checking out Salt Lake City, um, the downtown area. this video make sure to comment on anything that you found interesting also uh, check out my other videos of all about the North Georgia mountains if you want to know all there is about the North Georgia mountains places to see things to do where to live I do all of that here so make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can stay up to date with everything going on up here thanks for watching I'll see you on the next one